All right, brothers and sisters, welcome again. Today is another bright new day that the Lord has made, and we are going to rejoice and be glad in it as we study His Word. Okay? And uh, in today's Bible lesson, we are going to be answering this one very baffling question that uh, most Christians always ask. Uh, who are the four living creatures? Who are the four living creatures who are mentioned in the book of Revelation? Ever asked yourself this question? Okay, this is the what you're going to be learning today and uh, I want you to get ready because we're just about to get started. Okay. The four living creatures we get their story in the in the book of Revelation chapter 4 verse 6 all the way to 9. And uh let me just read this to you. It says, And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and uh, round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast was like a calf, and the third beast had a face like a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within, and uh, they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is, and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever. You know the story. <laughs> Can just go and read much more. So we see these four living creatures who are being mentioned here. And also you can read much more about them in Revelation uh, 5, verse 6 to 14, Revelation 6, 1 to 8, Revelation 14, 3, Revelation 15, verse 7, and Revelation 19, verse 4. They all speak about these four living creatures, beasts. And uh, the text that describes these creatures does not even indicate that they are figurative. It, it actually says they are real, actual beings. And these four living creatures, they are very special, exalted order of angelic beings or cherubims. This is clear by their close proximity to the throne of God. They are very close to the throne of God. It's like they're just right there at that throne. Think about the book of Ezekiel, chapter 1, verse 12. It, it, it tells us this in, in the vision that uh, Ezekiel saw. The Bible says, And they went, everyone straight forward, whither the Spirit was to go, they went. And they turned not when they went. As for the likeness of the living creatures, their appearance was like burning coals of fire. And like the appearance of lambs, it went up and down among the living creatures, and the fire was bright and out of the fire went forth lightning and the living creatures ran and returned as the appearance of a dash or as a flash of lightning. Hmm. Okay. Just, just let, let's see the appearance in verse 15 and 16. The Bible continues in Ezekiel 1, 15. Now, as I beheld the living creatures, behold one will upon the earth by the living creatures with his four faces, the appearance of the wheels, and their, wa uh, their work was like unto color of a burial, and their four, and they four had one likeness, and their appearance and their work was as, as it were a wheel in the middle of the wheel. Anyway, I know it's confusing. But, uh, what we understand from this is that uh, the suggestions, they try to tell us that they are in constant motion around the throne 
moving up and down doing different things in in the in the presence of god and uh we see in the book of revelation 5 6 to 14 describing the duties and purpose of the four living creatures they fall down they worship the lamb that is jesus christ offering the same reverence to him as they did to the father this is a proof positive of the deity of jesus christ along with the 24 elders this four creatures or four beasts the bible tells us in revelation 5 8 that they they have harps and golden vials full of incense which are the prayers of the saints and uh, when we look at uh, in the bible harps they are most often frequently associated with the worship worship of god and in the old testament as well as in times before is also associated with prophecy prophecy think about second kings 315 the bible says but now bring me a minstrel and it came to pass when the minstrel played that the hand of the lord came upon him you see the harps they are also connected with uh, prophecy you can also go and read the uh, chronicles first chronicles 25 1 so the incense represents the prayers of the saints therefore if taken together the four living creatures and the 24 elders hold in their hands all that the prophets ever prophesied and believers ever prayed for all about to come to pass and the purpose of the four living creatures also seems to be having something to do with uh, declaring the holiness of god and leading in worship and adoration of god because they are involved in some way with uh, god's justice for when he opens the first four seals and sends out the four horsemen to destroy their powerful voices like an thun- like like thunder they command come do you remember this let me read for you in revelation 6 1 it says and i saw when the lamp opened one of the seals and heard as it were the noise of thunder one of the four beasts saying come and see you see these beasts their voice is like unto thunder mm. come and see we see that uh, the horsemen respond to the summons of the four powerful creatures indicating the power that the, these creatures possess and th- this power is seen again in revelation 15 verse 7 when one of the four beasts unleashes the last seven plagues of god's wrath on mankind the bible says in revelation 15 verse 7 and one of the four beasts gave unto the seven angels the seven golden vials full of the wrath of god who liveth forever and ever you see so we understand that the four living creatures are very very similar if not the same they are beings as those who were seen by ezekiel in chapters 1 and 10 and also in isaiah 6 1 to 3 they are four in number they are full of eyes of faces like the beings that we see in ezekiel 1 verse 10 and they have six wings isaiah 6 2 and also they offer worship as beings think about isaiah 6 3 where they say holy 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 is the lord they may not have exact they 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 may not be exactly the same beings but they definitely are comparable and probably the same order because nobody has been to heaven and come back and tell us the story but uh, all we can do in summary is just to understand that these beings are an exalted order of angels whose purpose is primarily that of worship they are to worship revelation 19 verse 4 the bible says and the four and twenty elders and the four beasts fell down and worshiped god that sat on the throne saying amen hallelujah 
So these beings are very similar to the beings in Ezekiel 1 and Ezekiel 10 and Isaiah 6, 1 to 3. And they are in some ways involved in God's divine justice. I don't know if this has made some sense to you. I don't know if you have understood something. But all in all, there's the word of God. That's our lesson today. <laughs> Hope to see you in the next one. Thank you.